Hi, my name is Przemek Chojecki and this episode is about N8N.io, a new extendable workflow automation tool which is more open, fair code license, which is pretty much open source. Uh, you can download it, install it through npm command, it's super simple and it allows you to connect the various APIs in super easy way. Um, it's been featured on Product Hunt for a couple of weeks, been number one for a couple of weeks. Moreover, uh, it got a recent uh, funding from Sequoia and First Minute Capital. Uh, there's solo founder from Germany, from Berlin. Uh, and it's really cool and it's really easy to use. It, it also looks great. Uh, and this is what I wanted to show you because basically you'll be able to uh, join the various triggers, join the various APIs through this UI and make simple applications in no time, uh, super easy uh, really to, to play around with different APIs and applications. Uh, I guess the biggest competition to N8N is Zapier, but Zapier comes with uh, pricing, which is quickly scaling up, especially if you connect over two or three applications. Uh, and this is totally free, especially if you host it yourself. So that's why it's it's really great. Uh, and I wanted to make this short movie for uh, everyone to take notice of that application and play around. So if you open everything, uh, it opens in your word, uh, in your uh, uh, basically web browser as uh, Jupyter Notebook. Uh, this is how it looks like. I can, for example, open one of the workflows I've done before, which is a simple workflow to uh, manage your WordPress and basically get uh, your data from uh, WordPress to a spreadsheet and write that down and then download to your drive. Uh, and this is what it does. It's basically uh, getting all your posts, uh, writing it to file. Uh, you can click on everything and then see details what's happening here at each node, execute each node separately or do that all at once. You can have active triggers, which means uh, that the whole process is acting in the background uh, on, a, on in a live way. Uh, so it's really great, it's really cool. It's easy to operate, it's easy to use, uh, much faster than connecting all the APIs yourself. So if you need to have an application which uses a couple of APIs, that might be the fastest way to use. It's also easy to connect the API of your application uh, to uh, NO8N and start using it right away. Uh, so this is how it, uh, is how it looks like. Uh, yep, everything got executed. Basically I have right now a CSV file of uh, uh, all the posts from one of my websites. Uh, this was what the application was for. Uh, and there's, but there are plenty of possibilities of what you can do within the application. So for example, if you look at uh, even all the regular uh, nodes that you can create, uh, there are plenty, plenty of applications. So for example, say I'm using ConvertKit to, uh, for emails, uh, basically to do marketing campaigns and I can start uh, maybe take something from this WordPress site, write something into the spreadsheet and then maybe take one of the columns from that spreadsheet uh, to ConvertKit uh, and then send emails based on that ki kind of a trigger. Uh, or, and then probably also use Airtable to do something. Uh, I can, there, there are many things I, I can start doing. Uh, as you can see, plenty of opportunities. Uh, I can delete that connection. I can try to connecting that to Airtable right here, for example, so that something goes to my Airtable online, something goes to ConvertKit. Options are endless. It's super easy to create these different connections with APIs. Um, it's uh, very, very graphical, very visual. So it's also super easy to use. Uh, so yeah, so if you want to if you want to use it, just go directly to N8. And I'm not affiliated in any way with uh, with N8. I, I just I think it's really a cool product that uh, you should practice because those kind of different automations are always useful if you want to optimize, save your time, uh, or do cool things. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a like, and see you in the next episode.